everyone, my name's James and I'm a member of Living Rock Church and I'm part of the congregation in Stony Stanton and you'd normally find me behind the drum kit as part of the worship team but I'm here today to just share a short testimony with you of God's favour and provision. Um, many of you will know that last year my girlfriend Grace and I got engaged and the fact that she said yes to marrying me is a miracle and a testimony in and of itself but there's a bit more to it than that. Um, when we got engaged we set a wedding date of the 27th of June this year and you can probably see where this is going but in March of this year we received a phone call from our venue to say that sadly we just couldn't go ahead with the wedding because of the virus. Um, and we were devastated. Uh, we'd spent 12 months planning, we were three months away, we were so close only to be told that we couldn't go ahead. Um, we knew that our problem was really insignificant compared to some of the other problems that people had, but we were still disappointed. And before I carry on, I should give you some context. So in March, at that point, we were both pretty busy. Um, I just packed up my office and began working from home for the first time, which was a new experience. Um, work itself was busy, as like everybody, we were trying to navigate the constant stream of changes. Uh, Grace was in her final two months of her university degree with a busy schedule of crucial assessments just around the corner. She was also in the final stages of a job interview process for a postgraduate job where she was up against three and a half thousand other people. And to top it off, just for good measure, we were also trying to find our first home together. And it's at that point, amongst all of that, that we had the quite overwhelming and quite daunting task of essentially replanning the whole wedding. Um, so the first thing we did was we sat down in the lounge with my parents and they prayed for us. And I'm really pleased that I can say to you today on the 22nd of June, although we may not be getting married this Saturday, um, God has been so good to us. And I want to tell you just a few of the things he's done for us. Um, the wedding venue were able to provide us with a new date for this year. Um, the photographer, the florist and all the other supplies that we chosen were all available on that date. And the process of changing it was incredibly easy and stress free. Um, we'd already booked and paid for our honeymoon and the travel company issued a statement to say that if you are flying on or before the 30th of June, you can move your holiday and change it for free. We were flying on the 30th of June. So we just got in and had we been a day later, we would have had a problem. The fact that replanning the wedding and the honeymoon was so easy meant that Grace had the time to focus and give herself to her studying. Um, and she worked really hard and she achieved the first in her degree. Uh, Grace and I felt convinced that the job she was going for was the right one and we prayed together several times and she kept telling me that she was claiming it in the name of Jesus and out of three and a half thousand people she got the job. Um, we recently saw a property on right move that we thought looked perfect. Um, given the situation we weren't able to go and view it but we were, felt confident that it was one we should go for so we told the letting agent to put our names down as people that would like to take it and she said that's great but three other couples have also done the same thing. So what she had to do was give the names of these four couples to the landlady and she simply chose a couple and she chose us. And We've been so blessed and I think when I look back in 5, 10, 20 years time, I will um, I'll remember that everybody had to stay at home. I'll remember that people fought over loo rolls and of course I will remember that we had to postpone our wedding. But more than all of that, I will remember how good God was to me and to Grace and I. And plans changed, dates changed, times changed, um, but God's faithfulness and goodness was constant and unwavering throughout it all. Thanks for joining us today. Search for us online and get information about upcoming events and more great teaching.